Why should we diversify our planting designs? Diversity in the landscape not only provides more interesting shapes, sizes, and colors for us, but also attracts a diversity of natural organisms. Many insects and diseases are host-specific or at least host-preferential. If you have a variety of plants with different growth habits and bloom times, you lessen the likelihood of being completely wiped out if your garden's invaded by hungry pests. And since we're headed out to the nurseries, we often get asked, what does sun, part shade, and shade on those plant tags really mean? Well, somewhere in the world, they mean exactly what they say. But quite often, that doesn't apply to the sunny southern U.S. The sun's more intense in Central Texas, accompanied by a higher heat. So many plants that would do just fine in full sun in northern regions will completely fly, fry here in our death ray. But some plants do like both sun and shade, or bright filtered light. If in doubt, protection from the extremely harsh rays of late afternoon is almost never a bad idea. Next, in late February, Co. van der Zee started seeing hundreds of these critters on the house after having some landscape work done. We checked in with AgriLife Extension entomologist Wizzy Brown, who tells us that these are millipedes, which are actually beneficial in the garden, where they normally stay. But they seek shelter in rainfall and drought, or if their habitat is disturbed. Just carry them back into the garden if they're somewhere you don't want them, whether on your house or if they come inside. Some people may consider dandelions weeds, and they can be unsightly in the lawn, but they're a nutritious food source for pollinators on warm winter days, and we can eat them too. Alex Wolf tells us how his Italian-born grandmother, Evelyn Waters, looked forward to Dandelion Day. He relays his story for us. When I was a kid growing up in the D.C. suburbs, my nanny and I used to spend one weekend, usually in March, walking around her neighborhood in Ruston, Virginia, picking dandelion greens. At the end of the day, we would have piles of dandelion greens ready to be taken home for one of my favorite meals of the year, on dandelion day, she would saute it with a seemingly insane amount of fresh garlic and serve it with a dough similar to pizza dough, shallow fried in oil. We put the greens on the dough and feasted. Alex's mother, Lisa, shared the recipe with us, which you can find at centraltexasgardener.org. In Shelley McDaniel's Habitat Garden in Houston, mild temperatures meant monarch butterflies visited her still-blooming datura. She even found a monarch caterpillar. Then, while visiting Buchanan's Native Plants Nursery in Houston, she spotted even more butterflies, including a monarch on Lantana. Red Admiral butterflies clustered, too, on Alyssum. We'd love to hear from you. Visit centraltexasgardener.org to send us your stories, pictures, and questions.